In this video, we're going over six side hustles that nobody's talking about that could potentially replace your full-time job. Side hustle number one is Etsy. Etsy is a marketplace where you can buy and sell products that are usually handmade or unique in some way. Now at this point, you might be saying, Matt, that's great. I'm sure there's people who make a ton of money on Etsy, but how do I actually make money from it if I don't have any skills to create products or anything like that? Well, what's awesome about Etsy is that you don't just have to sell physical products. You can also sell what are known as digital products. And some examples of products that you can sell on Etsy include digital art. And as you can see, this Etsy shop called North Prince has over 250,000 sales on it. And if you do the math on that, you can tell they're making a ton of money from their Etsy shop. And what's epic about what they're selling is that most of their products are actually digital art. And you can get these designs from public domain art websites and then just repackage them and sell them on Etsy. It can also include some additional instructions like how to print it and how to hang it in their house, as well as the actual image itself. Now you might be saying, Matt, what website websites can I use to actually get this kind of art that I can sell on Etsy? I'm going to be getting into that in just a second, but if you did want to make the art yourself, you can use websites like Design Inspiration. Another type of product that you can sell is known as hanging art or art that's actually printed out that people can put up on their walls. And you can pay a service such as Vistaprint to actually print out the art that you can then sell on Etsy. And now let's get into some of the websites where you can actually find some of this public domain art. They include websites like artv.com. And what's cool about artv is that most of the images on the website are completely in the public domain, meaning that most of them can be used freely for any purpose, including commercial purposes, which would include the use of selling on Etsy. Other websites include Unsplash, Morgfile, Pixabay, and Pexels. You can also use certain Photoshop plugins to make the art into a different style. So for example, you could take one image and make it into five different sellable images that you could then sell on Etsy. For example, you could make it into a painting image or all kinds of other types of images. And then if you wanted to automate this as well, you could use a backend service like Printify, which will automatically print to your images and if you connect it with Etsy it'll automatically fulfill the orders as well so you can literally just sit back and you don't have to do anything while people buy your images and then Printify ships and fulfills them for you. And the third type of product that you can sell on Etsy are physical products and these can include handmade products but don't worry if you're not super crafty you can literally look up tutorials online of how to make different DIY projects and handmade stuff and to prove that this can work great check out this Etsy store called Kepsake. They literally just sell little ornaments and they have over three 300,000 sales on their store. And you can also drop ship products from places like AliExpress or Alibaba, get them for super cheap, and then mark them up and sell them on Etsy. And one of my students, Ken, has actually made over a million dollars with Etsy, and he runs a top 1% shop. So this is proof to me that this can definitely work. And feel free to check out his channel called Making Money with Ken, because he goes over all kinds of great Etsy tips and tricks, the best niches to do on Etsy, digital versus physical products, and he has a complete course teaching this in depth as well. Side hustle number two is promoting high payout partner products. Now this is a great side hustle that you cannot go wrong with. It's always one of my top recommendations for complete beginners when it comes to starting a work from home side hustle. Basically all you do is you go to marketplaces like digistore24.com, you find a good product to promote, you copy the links, you generate simple videos that you then upload to YouTube, and you drive traffic to these products and then get a commission for every sale that you make. And if you do go down this route, and let's say you're promoting a product where you get a 50% commission from it, I do recommend promoting something that's at least $1,000 so that you make at least $500 from it for every sale that you get. And let's say you just get one or a couple sales per day once you get this up at scale, getting a couple hundred thousand views per month on your YouTube channel, this can really add up to some serious money. Now, for example, my course and community to Mastery Monetization 3.0 is up on digistore24.com if you did want to promote it. You don't have to by any means though. There's tons of courses out there to promote in all kinds of niches. And feel free to check out my video called The Laziest Way to Make Money Online as I talk about this method more in depth and I show you exactly how to drive traffic and generate videos for this type of side hustle. Side hustle number three is getting people to promote your product. Now there's hundreds of thousands of people online that are desperately searching for a great product to promote. But the unfortunate truth is that there's honestly not enough good products out there. And even inevitably on this video, there's gonna be people down in the comments saying, I'm looking for a product to promote in this niche, in this niche, but I just can't find a good one. Please recommend me one. And unfortunately, I can't always do that because there's not enough good options of good digital products to promote. And this leaves a huge opportunity for you if you have any type of skill whatsoever, or if you know somebody who does. Basically, you can literally just record about 30 or so videos teaching whatever skill that you know step-by-step 
up and then put it into an online course and sell it through something like Kajabi and then put it up on somewhere like Digistore24 or ClickBank and then hundreds of thousands of affiliates can literally sign up to promote your course and they're gonna be promoting it for completely free. So these people are gonna be going out there, writing articles about your course, promoting it on blogs, making videos about it, and literally even just paying for ads for your product for completely free. So you don't have to spend any money out of your own pocket. You'll have an army of affiliates promoting your products for you. And I personally make tens of thousands of dollars per month from people promoting my course and community to mastery and monetization. But at this point, you might be asking, why are all these people promoting your product for free? And that's because they get a commission of every single sale that they make, and then you get a big cut of that as well, so it's a win-win for both of you. And if the product is actually good and it helps people, it's a win for the person who bought as well. And now let's say that you don't have any skills whatsoever, but you wanna tap into this side hustle, if you literally just know somebody who has a skill that could be potentially marketable, you could partner with them and then just record them teaching that skill and put it together into a course. And for example, the YouTube channel called I Love Basketball TV, which sells basketball courses, is actually partially ran by someone who doesn't even know too much about basketball. Yet they're still able to make millions of dollars with online courses because he then partnered up with people who do know how to play basketball, like different coaches, and then they do the teaching and the YouTube videos and he just runs things behind the scenes. And so sets it all up in this incredibly high leverage way of making money from any type of skill that you might know. Now their channel has over 2 million subscribers, they get over a million views per month, so not only are they probably making a ton of money selling their courses, but they're also probably making a great amount of money just from ad revenue from their channel as well. And speaking of YouTube, that brings me into my next side hustle, number 4, which is running YouTube channels. Now I run over a dozen different YouTube channels and make over $30,000 a month from them just from ad revenue alone. Not to mention we do over an extra $100,000 a month selling my course and community to mastery and monetization from my personal channel right here called Make Money Matt. But most of my channels are actually faceless. But at this point you might be saying, Matt, but how do you actually find the videos to put within your faceless videos and how do you actually make them? There's a couple different ways of doing it and all of them can work incredible. And way number one is with stock videos. Channels like Brain Many dose do exactly this, they get millions of views per month, they literally go to stock footage websites, for example, Pixabay, Pexels, Vidivo, and Vidizi, and there's also paid stock footage websites like Envato Elements, Storyblocks, and Motion Elements, where you subscribe to a plan and then you get access to their huge library of stock footage, and then you simply record a voiceover on top of them talking about a particular subject. Typically this works really well if you're going over something where the main focus is on what's being said in the video, and then you can simply edit it together with a free program like HitFilm Express, Open Shot or Shotcut, or iMovie if you're using Mac. Method number two for faceless channels are screen recordings. Now this channel called Tech Gumbo gets over a million views per month and they literally just record screen recording tutorials and get this, they don't even talk in any of their videos. So it's literally just a screen recording teaching different things that you likely already have access to. If you have a phone or if you have a computer, you can literally just take screen recordings showing different things of how to use different applications, put it up on YouTube and potentially get a lot of views. And in terms of recording screen recordings on your computer, you can simply use a program called OBS, which is completely free. Another method for faceless videos is slideshows. And for slideshows, you can use Google Slides completely free. And you can create videos just like this one which got over half a million views and it's literally just a slideshow and as you can see at the beginning of the video he's literally using OBS to record the video. And then in order to make your slides look a little bit better you can use something called flat icon which integrates directly with Google Slides. And you can put all kinds of awesome icons on your slides just to give it a little extra flair. And then with your Google Slides you can teach things that you might know or you can literally just find ideas online, repackage it into your own words and then make a slideshow recording with it, do a voiceover on top of it and they can potentially do really well. Another method for faceless channels is putting text on a screen. And for example, you can do quote videos just like this one, which got over 11 million views, which is absolutely crazy. But if you did do a quote video, I do recommend giving some additional context in the form of a voiceover on the video in your own words over the quotes to reduce problems with copyright or anything like that and making sure that you're putting everything in your own words. Another method is stock photos and you can find those on places like Pexels, Morgfile or Pixabay. And then there's all kinds of videos you can make with stock photos. For example, this video right here, which is a scary stories video, got nearly half a million views and they literally just put a stock photo playing throughout the video with a scary story narration on top of it. Another method is whiteboard videos. And for example, you can use something like Videoscribe or Doodly. 
And this channel called Philosophies for Life does this and has over a million subscribers. Another method is animated videos and you can use something like Animaker to make these. And this channel called My Story Animated just makes story time animated videos and they have over 15 million subscribers. And another faceless method is using mind maps. And you can create mind maps with something like Xmind or diagrams.net. And this channel right here called Joseph Rodriguez does just that. And he just takes different book summaries and then puts them together into a mind map, puts his own thoughts in an organized fashion on what's being said, does a screen recording with something like OBS, and does very well. And then once you grow a channel using any of these different faceless methods, you can then either promote your own course or any other type of affiliate product as well. And you can also make money from ad revenue every single time someone watches a video and an ad plays before it, you get a cut of that revenue once you're part of the YouTube Partner Program, which requires you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. And at this point you might be saying, that's great Matt, I really wanna do this, but how do I actually be sure that my videos get a lot of views and I'm not just wasting my time with this. I go over step by step in my program to mastery and monetization 3.0 exactly how to optimize your videos to get as many views as possible and no matter what type of side hustle that you end up starting or what type of channel that you end up running I do highly recommend having a YouTube channel for your business and that's why my student Ken is so smart because not only does he have his Etsy shop which he's made over a million dollars with and that's a great revenue stream for him but now he also has a YouTube channel which brings the possibility of selling a course teaching how he makes money on Etsy that's a whole another revenue stream, not to mention the ad revenue he's going to make from his YouTube channel. That's three different revenue streams that he multiplied because he's using online tools to create leverage. Side hustle number five is typing out videos. What if you could watch videos and literally get paid just to type out what's being said in them? Well, it turns out you can, and there's certain websites online where clients can upload either audio or video files and then pay what's known as a transcriptionist to type out what's being said in the videos in a few different formats. Either just a straight transcript, which is literally just like a text file file with everything being said in the video and or a subtitles file which is timed and synced up with the video or the audio file. They might be saying, that's great Matt, but how do I actually start doing that? Well, there's actually websites that need people to do this right now, including Rev.com. And on average, Rev says their users make between $225 to $300 per month, while their highest earners make as much as $2,000 per month. Another option is a website called Go Transcript. You can make up to 60 cents per audio or video minute. Their average earnings are about $150 per month per user and their top earnings are $1,215 per month. And another website you can look into is one called Scribby. And with Scribby, you can make anywhere from five to $20 per audio hour. And what's cool about Scribby is that they provide what are called automated transcripts. So they automatically create a transcript based on what's being said in the video with artificial intelligence. And then it's up to you to actually go through that, make sure there's no mistakes and make sure everything makes sense. Now, while you can definitely make money doing this, keep in mind that the potential really isn't there to make as much money as some of the other other methods that I've shown in this video, but this can potentially be a way to get started if you don't have any skills outside of this. So you can eventually make money to invest in learning those skills, then packaging it into an online course or a YouTube channel or something like that, and then scaling that up and potentially making way more money. Side hustle number six is helping. Now at this point, you're probably saying, Matt, what in the world do you mean by helping? Well, you may have noticed that with many of these side hustles, there's points in which the people doing them may potentially need help. For example, let's say you're running faceless YouTube channels, things that you're going to potentially need help with are writing scripts, doing voiceovers, editing the videos, and making the thumbnail images. For writing scripts or even just writing blog posts, you can use automated tools like ChatGPT or Jasper AI, and these can definitely help speed up the writing and make it faster, but don't just rely on these tools. Make sure that if you do use one of these tools to dive in, make sure everything is said correctly, make sure the grammar is correct, and make sure everything makes sense. And then finally also run it through something like Copyscape to make sure it's unique and you're not infringing on any copyrights. And you can also write for websites like iWriter. And this right here is how much they pay for a different amount of words. Now, if I personally did this, this is definitely not enough. I probably wouldn't rely exclusively on iWriter. I'd probably sell my writing in other places as well, but this could potentially be a good way to at least start getting some work for sure. And I'd recommend charging at least around $30 per 2000 words. And for recording voiceovers, you can sell those on places like voices.com 
www.youtube.com where companies and individuals and YouTube channels can hire you to do voiceovers for their products. And literally all you have to do is talk. You can get a cheap microphone like a Blue Yeti or literally just use your phone, which many people do, and potentially make money doing that. For making images, you can use image editors like Snappa or Canva, which are completely free and include tons of templates, including like YouTube thumbnail templates, Facebook cover art, YouTube channel art, and you can use these to generate great images for your clients super fast. And you can do all of these jobs on places like Upwork, which is my primary source for hiring people for my YouTube channels and different businesses, or on places like Fiverr. And for example, this person on Fiverr right here has over 4,000 reviews just on one gig which is helping people create YouTube thumbnails. And he charges a minimum of $10 per thumbnail, so he's made at least $40,000 with this. And nowadays with the internet, there's almost unlimited opportunities to make money online and have a work from home side hustle. And I personally have made millions of dollars online, and trust me, I know what you're thinking that I look super young. I am, I'm only 22 years old, but I started many of these side hustles before I even graduated school. So your age does not matter at all, but what does matter is that you choose one of these side hustles and stick with it for a long period of time. And I know that's not what you like to hear. You come to these types of videos because you're looking for a quick fix to start making money as soon as possible. And I definitely provided some ways of doing that, but to really make the big money online, if that's what you want to do, I highly recommend choosing one thing and sticking to it. And I remember watching videos like this when I was a kid trying to learn how to make money online because I see all kinds of people on YouTube doing it, talking about it. And I would try the method, I'd stick with it for a week and then I'd switch to another one. And I made some money here and there, but I didn't make anything big or consistent. And in some cases, nothing at all. And then I finally chose one thing and stuck to it to the point where now I make over $100,000 a month in my businesses at only 22 years old. And I'm not saying this to brag by any means. In fact, I think it took me really long to get to this point. I've been doing this for nearly a decade and I thank my past self every single day that I took action and started some of those side hustles when I was super young because you could potentially set yourself up for life. So if you take anything away from this video, any of these side hustles can work. Choose one, stick to it, grow a huge income stream that could provide for you and your family and anybody that you care about. And honestly, I don't know who needs to hear this right now if you're watching one of these videos maybe you're going down a rabbit hole of watching videos about how to make money online but please let this be one of the last videos that you watch related to this before you start taking action choosing one side hustle going all in on it buying a course on it because I truly want you to succeed and come back one year from now and leave a comment on this video with your success so to sum things up my recommendation is choosing one of these side hustles that interests you the most obviously I'm biased I think YouTube is the absolute best side hustle out there but like I said realistically any of these can work if you stick to it long term certain ones have more leverage than others that's why I typically recommend a combo of running YouTube channels and selling an online course and or affiliate product and once you choose your side hustle I recommend going all in it burning the boat, so to speak, buying an online course, teaching it step-by-step, step, following that course until action, and not stopping until success. Now check out this video to see what are, in my opinion, the best faceless YouTube niches, and check out this video right here to see what is, in my opinion, the best lazy way of making money online. You'll get a ton of value from these videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Matt Parr, and I'll see you in the next video.